This is a video that illustrates many of the features available to those who download, install, and log in to CyberRat using the free of charge and default visitor user ID. Such a login brings the user a summary of limitations imposed on visitors only. Limitations that include only one already magazine trained rat for use in your personal colony, no storage of experimental data upon exiting the program, thus implying a fresh start with each new login, but all other features are completely functional. Agreeing to this limitation starts our session by taking us to the colony where we will use the plus button to add our single magazine trained animal. Note there is a complete experimental journal showing us this animal's experimental history. We are now ready to select the reinforcement rules for our first experimental session. We'll choose manual reinforcement with bar on so we can attempt to shape bar pressing. We'll also set our session to real-time video display and allow manual termination. We'll accept the suggested default session duration of 30 minutes and then click on the experiment button to actually begin the experimental session. We can see the animal being placed into the opera conditioning chamber and we'll watch it for a while as it explores this change in its environmental placements. It will explore the chamber rather vigorously at first. Because this animal is already magazine trained, we may want to begin refreshing that prior training as quickly as we can. So when the animal approaches the recessed water dispenser, we will reinforce that by manually delivering a drop of water. Note that the animal drinks the water drop we delivered, and subsequent deliveries of additional drops begin to change the animal's behavior so that it stays on the right side of the chamber more of the time and drinks each drop. Here, now 24 minutes into the session, we are manually reinforcing only when we see the animal explore or touch the bar that is in the center of the right side of the chamber. We thus are beginning to progress along a continuum of successive approximations and thus are using a shaping process that has the ultimate goal of the rat pressing the bar on its own. It's not uncommon in early shaping sessions to give so much water that the animal no longer drinks and instead simply moves about or rests so as we see near the end of this session. As this session ends we are moved to the graphene screen where we see that our objective of having the animal press the bar has not yet resulted in anything to graph. However, we can begin a new session immediately and thus can start a second 30-minute session to continue with our animal newly deprived of water for 23 hours. Advancing to a minute and 25 seconds into the second session, we see the animal now more vigorously interacting with the bar, but not yet pressing it. Nevertheless, this is a very desirable next step in our shaping, and thus we continue to reinforce every instance of the animal touching the bar in any way. By nine minutes into the second session, we find the animal continuing to touch the bar and eventually press the bar. Watch the bar press counter immediately above the manual reinforcement button to tell when the animal actually presses on its own. We are manually reinforcing such presses, but the bar also is being activated by the animal, thus giving two drops in these early presses. Advancing to 25 minutes into the session, we can see that the animal has by now accumulated 42 bar presses and is pressing approximately once every 30 to 45 seconds. He's drinking the water in between those presses, so behavior has changed rather drastically from our early observations of the first 30 minute session.
We'll jump forward in time to watch this second session end, and automatically this takes us to the cumulative record for the second and successful training session. Thus, we now see a cumulative graph marked with red tick marks illustrating our early session manual delivery of reinforcement and black tick marks associated with each bar press graphed as a step up the y-axis. Having taught our animal to press on its own, we may now conduct other experiments. For example, what if we set the rule for the delivery of water for each bar press, known as CRF, and lengthened our session to 60 minutes instead of only 30. We may not want to wait a full 60 minutes to see what happens, so we'll set our session control to fast simulation mode with video turned off. Now we see only a dancing cartoon as the minutes rapidly speed by on the time counter at the right. When the session is complete, we see a cumulative graph that shows steady rates of pressing up to about 36 minutes and 170 bar presses. Then water satiety begins to interrupt bar pressing, and the rate drops precipitously for the final 25 minutes of the session. We can graph multiple experimental sessions on a single plot, and here we see six sessions where extinction, CRF, and fixed ratio response rates can be compared. Any single session can be regraphed and even reviewed via an inset video playback starting at any selected time period within the session. This allows students to make a direct translation between the abstract graph and the actual bar pressing observed simultaneously. It also allows instructors to review student problems visually. Finally, a multiple behavior analysis showing such things as relative probability of various behaviors that are mutually exclusive but sufficiently inclusive as to describe behavior of the animal at all times. We can even view a sequential or kinematic analysis showing conditional probabilities of how behaviors change and other subsequent behaviors during the session. We might also wish to graph any one of these various behaviors, such as grooming, to see how it is distributed across the time of the session. In this case, grooming occurs mostly between the 9 to 12 minute period into the session, which is a common finding. Well, that's a brief sample of the many things even visitors can do with CyberRat, and we hope you enjoy exploring even more on your own. Thank you.